Gallatin, Tennessee. It's a small town just outside of Nashville. Maybe a small city of only 40,000 people, but we're big in attitude. We say we've got a lot of grit and a lot of grace. Gallatin is a really, really nice place to live. The people in the community are great. Like any great place, it's not about the physical location, but it's really most about the people. I think being nice is doing something for another individual that maybe no one ever knows about. The flavor of this town is positive. When you walk around the square, people are basically jovial. And of course, it's growing every day. Uh, we've got, you know, a lot of folks moving in from Nashville, and, and that's a good thing. Our population demographics have changed. New people validate the special character that we have, but they also enhance that texture. I think Galton has been successful in dealing with tremendous growth and with difficult circumstances because we have worked so hard to build relationships with one another. When something does happen, we can all get together and discuss it. Tragic shooting last year, unfortunately. A uh, young lady had some challenges, uh, from what we understand, uh, could be some mental challenges, and she was shot uh, by the police uh, here in Gallatin. That was, one of, that was the worst day since I've been in office. A woman lost her life, and how devastating is that? But the way that our community responded was was probably one of the most proud times in my tenure as mayor. Uh, the police response to that uh, tragic event was they initially called pastors. Uh, it was almost within uh, minutes of what occurred. The city of Gallatin was one of the first um, cities to use body cams, and honestly, that helped us as much as anything in, that, in managing that incident. So right away, we got, got it out. We met with some, some leaders from the community, NAACP, some, some people that, and again, that I had built relationships with at the Civic Center, you know, at the parks and things like that. And I said, will you please, you know, I'd like for you to come look at this before I release it to the media. There were people wanting to organize demonstrations. And one of the organizers actually reached out to the police department and reached out to me and reached out to the faith based communities and wanted to have a prayer vigil. And that prayer vigil was, of course, for the woman who lost her life, but it was, it was for our community, it was for healing. That way the whole situation was handled, I think, uh, is a model for many uh, citizens. Gallatin has always chosen the high roads when we could have done otherwise. I think the future for Gallatin is bright, uh, it's exciting. Whether you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, whether you're African-American and Caucasian, Hispanic, does not matter. This is our home, and we will always be trying to make it better.